What's going on guys? Welcome to Just Talk Smith channel. I hope you all enjoyed that little edit that was at the beginning of this. I know it was kind of long, but I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, we're getting some major, major progress done on the truck. So really, I hope you all just enjoyed that little edit montage. And now we're going to talk about what all we've gotten done. And some of these things that we have done, I have completely separate videos on that I haven't edited and put together yet. So don't worry, don't be like, oh my gosh, please make a how-to video on that. You can comment that below, just in case it's on something that I didn't film or didn't do a how-to video on, so that I can do that in the future. But I have a lot of how-to videos coming out of all of this content I'm doing, but this is just gonna be an update video and me showing you guys what I think about some of this PMF stuff and figuring out, um, was it worth it? And did I like the quality of everything and going over it but so far everything from pmf has been awesome quality so we're going to kind of go over everything that we've gotten done and talk about what is still needing done so we can make it to music city this weekend so it's currently monday morning about 3 a.m and um got to get up and work all day today painting and then we will work on it some more tomorrow night so it's been super super tiring and uh we're getting there though we're getting so 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 close so let's go ahead and jump right into it and start talking about what all we got done. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and start right here in the rear. Um, as you can see, we got the axle in uh, with the blocks and the new leaf springs, U-bolts, uh, nuts, washers, top plate, all of that. So we've got all of that done. We also got these Kings on with the uh, reservoir clamps. So right here are those big Kings with the reservoirs. We've got those on and bolted down. They still need tightened up. We also are still in need of the rear bottom bolts for the rear shocks. So I'll be getting those tomorrow. And we should have to put in the uh, little sleeves and bolts right here. Uh, I ended up throwing the clamps on right there for the lower shock mounts. And we also still have to assemble the gears and everything in here, which we have already started and pretty much got done on the front. Right here on the rear, we done the clamp style design on the lift blocks from pmf and man does it look awesome so there's two bolts on each corner so there's eight bolts total that hold this block to this bottom plate and then the u-bolts of course hold the block to the axle and then your traction bar is going to mount right here so super super awesome block design from pmf right there i really that like this is my favorite lift block ever so I had the Striker Off-Road Designs lift block before. And if you're going to get lift blocks for your truck, do the PMF, do this design. 
Like, look how safe that is. Like, if you're going to run lift blocks, just run the correct ones. I really, really wish that the striker ones were designed like that whenever I had them because they were 10-inch blocks. So that would have been a little bit of extra security in my personal opinion. Um, so that's pretty much all for the rear. We've got the leaf springs on, U-bolts, everything. So the rear is coming along. We just need those bottom bolts for the rear shocks. And then the rear is pretty much done except for like actually assembling the axle itself. So moving along to the front, we have got a lot done up here in the front. So we have our King stickers on the reservoirs. We've got our billet clamps on the reservoirs. We've got our coilovers in and actually tightened down and everything. We've got our calipers together, ready to be installed. We went ahead and reassembled those. And then right here, we've already got the gears and everything installed. I just have to set the pinion angle depth. So I'll be doing that tomorrow. The shims and stuff I reused from before, so that should be fine. Just setting that depth tomorrow, put a little bit of paint on the uh, gear, spin it around, get all that nice and perfect. And then we've also got the track bar bracket on, as y'all seen in the last video, with the pitman arm. And we also went ahead and installed this track bar, just kind of temporarily. Um, I still have to take this bolt out. I didn't put this bracket right here on. So that bracket actually covers up that heim joint, makes it look a little bit better. And then of course we still have our four link arms. So that looks really, really good. I have a full video coming on that. So we've got the transmission uh, cross member. So then we can index the transfer case. We've got that installed and that's pretty much it in the front. We also got these radius arm bushings, just posted a video on installing those. So literally all that we have to do in the front is four link arms. Uh, axle shafts, ball joints, knuckles, drag link, and tie rod bar. Differential cover, of course, and then, uh, you know, a few little odds and ends. But then the front will be completely done and ready to come down on the ground. And man, does it sound weird saying that. Completely done, ready to come down onto the ground. I am so excited to put those big 4-inch Bora wheel spacers on with those JTX Forge wheels and just see the just the sheer ride height of this truck. I'm so excited just to see it on the ground uh so that'll be really really awesome i plan on setting around 11 inches of lift um just to make sure that we've got enough room to clear and then if we have um too much squat i may lower it down some if we clear uh if we have like too much rake like if the rear is too high then i'll crank it up some more um in the front as long as it's not going to make the wheels look too small i know for a lot of people the wheels or the tires are going to look too small anyway um, but that's just the look that I'm going for. I'm making pretty much a miniature version of what it was before. So used to the cab of my truck, like the bottom of the cab was over the tires. It was like a skateboard look, I guess you could say. And that's what we're going to be doing on this look as well. So we want that skateboard look. We want the cab over the tires. So that's what I'm going for, just on a smaller scale. So it'll be really, really cool. Um, if you've been following along on the YouTube channel, then you know we also had our rear uh, seats and front seats out and the headliner out. We've got all of that stuff put back in now. So we are pretty much ready to head out to Music City. So shout out to Line X for getting that bed linered. That looks really, really good. We also went ahead and threw some black WeatherTech floor mats in there. So the only thing that we have left to do pretty much is paint the tailgate and reassemble the truck. And I wanted to paint my rear bumper and my rear bumper step. Not sure if I'm gonna have time to do that or not. But pretty much, guys, everything from PMF so far has been a perfect fit. Haven't had to, like, wall or out any holes or drill anything out or change anything. Um, I trusted PMF enough to where I went ahead and had the lift get powder coated first and then installed it. Because, you know, with fabricated stuff and uh, not really homemade stuff, but stuff that is designed off of CAD files and everything else, every truck is a little bit different. So you're technically probably supposed to install all of this stuff raw then make sure everything fits perfect, then take it off, powder it, and reassemble just to make sure that you don't have to ruin or drill into any powder coat or do anything. Um, but yeah, guys, everything is looking perfect. We still have to get the front, the uh, rear drive shaft made this week, actually, not the front, um, and reassemble the axles. And that's pretty much it. I mean, the meat and potatoes is under there. As soon as we get those gears in the rear, we'll be, it'll, we'll be flying. So it, it, it'll take us about 30, 45 minutes to get those gears in the rear, and then we should be able to you know zoom on and get this thing put together guys 
that's going to be all for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you all are excited to see this truck build. I will see you on the next one. Always remember, everybody starts as nobody. Peace.